Shifts the death sea, thunder from down under. Cities and beaches you will see. Come along so you can try. Many places we will find. Shifts the death sea, blow your mind. Jeffs, 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 Jeffs the death sea. Thunder from down under Cook with me, cook with me 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 Welcome back, and we're here again in the kitchen with our amazing chef, Norman Desi from Down Under. So Norman, what are we going to uh, learn to make from you now? Singapore noodles. Ooh, from India to Singapore. Yes, world Fabulous. food. We'll do the world. That's oh, it. Oh, we are coming. <laughs> we are doing some world food today. We'll do some Singapore noodles, which I learned when I was in um, Singapore. I used to work in Singapore for some time before I went to Dubai, uh -huh. and that's where I learned my Singapore noodles from. Fantastic. Yeah. We get to travel the world on our palate. Beautiful. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so what are some of the vegetables we're using today, Norman? We are making a vegetarian Singapore noodles. Fabulous. So we got some red and green capsicum cut up, mm -hmm. some bok choy, yeah. some snow peas, some beans, spring onions, carrot, and the three sauces which I use are some fish sauce, oh. oyster sauce, and a light, light soya sauce. Beautiful, healthy yeah. Asian cuisine. Yeah. So we'll start off with uh, uh, using some oil uh -huh, yeah. Ooh, in my wok. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll put there the oil. I put all the vegetables together. Mm -hmm. We'll put some uh, of the red onions which are chopped up. Okay, so is that on a high heat at the moment? Yeah, or the wok. The, the trick of Chinese cooking is you should have very high flame. Uh -huh, yep. That's why you see in the woks in the Chinese restaurant, they always have water taps. Okay, yes. To That's that to cool, cool it down. Yeah, uh -huh. to cool down the woks. Okay, yep. yeah. So the Fabulous. heat, what they use, is really high heat. Uh -huh, yeah. you know? So it cooks very quickly and it just sears in yeah. all the flavor. Beautiful. The way they cut their meats and everything, it cooks really quick uh -huh, because yeah. also it's marinated so it doesn't have to be stewed or cooked long time. Uh -huh, yeah. Beautiful. So we put the onions in, we put some of our capsicum, the green capsicum, Oh, yeah. The red I love capsicum. All the colors. Yeah, I love color too. Uh -huh, yeah. As I said, like an Indian bride. Uh -huh. Colorful. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the way life should be. <laughs> yeah, very colorful. And then we'll use some of the bok choy. There's a lot of bok choy here, so we just uh -huh. do in proportion. We'll use a little bit of bok choy. Yep. So are these the traditional vegetables used in a Singapore noodles? Or yes. Singapore noodles again can be made out of pork, can be made out of chicken. Or you can do it with lamb, anything. Okay. But this is the traditional, I try to do it with a vegetarian one. Uh -huh, beautiful, yes. So, yeah. Nice and healthy as well. Nice and healthy, a lot of vegetarians around uh -huh. at the moment. So we'll keep it vegetarian. Yeah, then you can always add some other uh -huh. uh, meats to it. And we cut some carrots which are already cut up in julienne. We put that there. And yes, I added, so the, I added some beans and uh, some of the snow peas and beans. So most of the ingredients are just generally to taste? Yeah, to taste. Uh -huh, yep. yeah. You can, but the color, you must see the color. If I only had everything green there, broccoli and bok choy and everything, it, uh -huh. wouldn't, look, it, it wouldn't look good. Yeah, it wouldn't be as yeah. pretty. It wouldn't yeah. be as enticing to the eyes. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll cook that a bit. Mm -hmm. As we are cooking that, you add a little bit of uh, salt, a pinch of salt and some sugar. Beautiful, it's such a rainbow. Yeah, we'll put some sugar and uh, again try and let it all mix well. Uh -huh. And the sauces that I use is an oyster sauce. Mm -hmm. So how much of that do you put in? Just, just a spoon, a teaspoon. Oh, a teaspoon. Yeah, okay. I just use a free hand. I know 
how much is there, we'll put that and then we'll use some soya sauce, light soya sauce uh -huh. is healthier. And again, how much of the soy sauce? Sauce, again a spoon, oh, okay, a just spoon, a spoonful yeah. of that and uh, make sure you stir it well. Mm, that sounds there you start to smell delicious, uh -huh. isn't it? And uh, just keep it on the stove till the sauces evaporate. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So the, the vegetables pull in all the flavor. Uh -huh. And after which, when the sauces all go away, at the end, add a little bit of fish sauce. Okay, beautiful. So it varies on your own cooking temperature, how hot your stove is and how hot yeah. your pan is as to how long you have to cook it for. Yes. Yep. Okay, uh, all right. So just look, keep it like that. And yep. Don't, don't put a lid. Every time in a wok, don't try and put a lid uh -huh. because the vegetables get all soggy. Oh, okay. So, so we we'll want to keep them crispy. Yeah, we'll keep them crispy. Beautiful. So after the vegetables are really crispy and nice, I mm -hmm. take it out and put it in a bowl, like so. Oh, yum. Look at that. And so while the, uh, no uh, while, while the vegetables were cooking, you prepared the noodles the for noodles. us? The yes. noodles. The noodles. I you can use any noodles. I have used the chimmang noodles, which again, I put it in hot water like pasta just for five minutes and strain it. Uh -huh. So it gets all, it's nice and separated. Uh -huh, yeah. So you take that, the same wok, add a little bit of oil. Okay, so it retains all that beautiful yeah. flavor from the vegetables. Yeah, we'll put a little bit of oil. You can see I haven't uh, mixed the noodles with the vegetables. I like to do them separately. Again, because of the heat of the wok, the wok needs to get again very hot so the noodles will be crisp. It, otherwise, it will all get very soggy if you mix them with the vegetables straight away. So that's the trick in Singapore noodles. The noodles should be nice and crisp. Beautiful. Crispy egg noodles. Yeah. So we'll put it in the hot wok, wait the wok to get really hot. Mm -hmm. And I'm separating everything. I don't like to layer the noodles on it. Just try and separate them so that we get everything touches the wok so they get a little bit of heat on them and a little bit of char marks at the... So we're sort of crispying yeah. up in the very, very the hot, hot frying pan. Yeah, wok. yeah. Again, use some of my... a pinch of salt, some sugar, And the same process, I use some soya mm -hmm. sauce. Soya sauce and oyster, oyster sauce. sauce. Like They're the, the main. of Asian cooking. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and now they introduce fish sauce. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Previously, we never knew about fish sauce. Well, I think a the lot. fish sauce is very much from, um, from Thailand and Vietnam, whereas the oyster sauce and the um, soy sauce is a bit, little bit more Chinese, probably. That's I think. right. Yeah. But the fish sauce also has a very nice flavor, so mm, we just yeah. add a little bit to that. And then we. And there's that new um, chili oil as well that's become all the craze in the yes, last yes, few oh. years. Like every single Asian restaurant has got that chili oil nowadays. I was at a restaurant yesterday having a yam cha and, uh -huh. and they ordered the chili oil. Uh -huh, uh, yeah. Before I used to order the fresh chilies, but now straight away they bring yeah. you the chili oil. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like we used to always get fresh chili and yeah. a little bit of soy sauce, and now, yeah, every single Asian restaurant I ever go to has got that chili oil. Chili oil, that's yeah. right. And do you have any tips while we're waiting for the noodles to cook, like how to make your own chili oil? The chili oil, the main thing with the ch I, I make my chili oil by using uh, fresh chili. Uh-huh, yeah. You know? Use the fresh chili, but you have to cook the chili. Oh, okay, yeah? all right. Not pickle the chili, you cook the chili. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, take your chili, put it in the blender and cook it. Oh, okay. Uh, and then you will have that. Okay, we'll have to um, make another episode one day where you show it's us how to make chili oil. oil. Yes. It. Yeah. <laughs> when it's all there, we uh -huh. add, see the noodles are all nice and crispy. Yeah, beautiful. Then you add your vegetables. Aha, uh -huh. very nice. You add your vegetables to it. And you get that beautiful Singapore noodles. If you had meat, you could add your meat to it. Uh -huh. Or your chicken. So with the meat, if there was going to be meat, the meat would have been cooked separately? Separately. Okay, yeah. Uh, like how I cook the vegetables, uh -huh, cook yeah. your meat like that. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. At the same time with the vegetables. In the same time okay, as the vegetables. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how you get this beautiful. beautiful Singapore noodles. Wow. 
quick, easy, and healthy. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank All right. you. So, um, guys, make sure you do check out Norman's website for more amazing recipes. That website, again, once again, is... Fosburyfoods.com. <laughs> Fantastic. And make sure to subscribe. Please do comment in the comment section below. If, you, if there's anything that you'd like to see Norman making, please let us know. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Beautiful Singapore noodles. Vegetarian Singapore noodles. Wow, please. that looks amazing. That's, this is like this whole rainbow array. Please oh. try. Oh, yes, please. Haha. Mm. -ha. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cities and beaches you will see. Come along so you can try. Many places we will find. Chefs to dance and blow your mind. Chefs, 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 chefs to the sea. Thunder from down under Cook with me, cook with me